Today I'm going to show you how you can connect MailChimp with Webflow. You are going to learn how you can use Webflow's built-in forms to accept signups to your MailChimp newsletter and email list. We are going to look at the basic setup, then I'm going to show you how you can add custom fields, and we are also going to talk about how you can add MailChimp tags to Webflow forms as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do to connect this form to MailChimp is we have to open our MailChimp account and in the left side menu, click on audience. Then inside audience, click on sign up forms and inside sign up forms, click on embedded forms. Click on the select button. And here you can ignore everything. Just click continue until you reach this page where this code snippet is displayed. And we don't need the entire code snippet. Actually, we only need one very specific thing from this code snippet, and that is the action URL. And I think it is somewhere at the top. Here it is, where it says form action. And now what we have to do is we have to copy everything in between the double quotes right here until the very end. Make sure you copy the entire link, otherwise it won't work copy and then go back to Webflow, click any form element, go to the settings panel and inside here, inside the form settings, there is a field called action and that's where we have to paste the action URL and we have to set the method from get to post. And now the form has been connected to MailChimp. The next thing that we have to do is we have to connect the individual fields to MailChimp. And to do that, we go back to MailChimp, click on exit up here at the top or back to edit, finish later. And inside of this page here, we have to click on settings and click audience fields and merge tags. And right here, we have a list of all of the possible fields that we can use inside of our MailChimp form. Right now, there are quite a lot. We don't have to use all of them. But uh, what is really important inside of this table is this column right here where it says, put this tag in your content. This is exactly what we are going to do now. So to connect the first name field to Webflow, we have to copy the tag of first name, which is F name in this case. So copy it, go back to Webflow, then click on the input field of the first name. And inside of the text field settings, we have to set the name to this tag, in this case, F name. And now the first name field has been connected to MailChimp. Let's do the same thing again for the last name. So the tag for last name is L name in this case. Copy it and go to Webflow, select the last name field and paste the tag as the name of the field. And by the way, this uh, field name is not visible for the user. It is just something that is needed to connect things in the background, but the user won't see this tag as a text displayed somewhere on the page. Let's go back to MailChimp and also do the same thing for the email address. The, the tag for the email address is just email written in capital letters. It's always the same in MailChimp. You cannot change this. Copy, select the email address field and paste email inside of the text field settings as the name of the field. And now our basic setup is running because we have connected the entire form and also all of the individual fields to MailChimp. And to prove that to you, I'm going to publish this project. Now it has been published and I'm going to open the live website and I'm going to enter some dummy data, some test data. My first name is Mike, my last name for this test is test1 and my email address is this email address. Yes, I accept the terms. I click submit. And now it says, thank you, your submission has been received. This means everything worked on Webflow's end. So let's check if it also worked inside of uh, MailChimp. 
Um, I'm back to my MailChimp account and this time inside of the audience menu, you have to click on all contacts to view a list of all of the contacts in your audience. And now it loads a little bit. And as you can see, the email address Save Koala, which I just used to sign up with my first name Mike and test name, uh, last name Test1, has successfully signed up to the MailChimp newsletter. So the basic setup is running. Now, what if you wanted to add additional fields or custom fields to this Webflow form? To do that, uh, you can just create a new field. In this case, I'm just going to copy the last name field and also the last name tag. And let's say I want to collect uh, on top of the first name, last name and email address, I also want to collect the phone number uh, of the uh, newsletter contact. So I'm going to add the tag phone and this form input, I'm going to, in the text field settings, I'm going to set the type to phone. This is just a good practice so that um, the form only accepts form numbers and not text, for example. But this has nothing to do with the MailChimp integration. To connect this new custom field to MailChimp, we follow the exact same uh, procedure as before. Go back to MailChimp, go to the sign up forms, then click on settings, audience fields and merge tags. And now we are back to the list of all of the possible fields that we could use inside of our MailChimp form. Uh, let's see if the phone number is already present. Yes, it is. Here's the phone number. So what we would do is we just copy the tag of this phone number field, go back to Webflow, click on the form input field, go to the settings panel and inside of the, the text field settings, add this tag as the field name. And now we've connected this custom field as well. In this case, this was easy because the field already existed inside of the inside of the field list. But sometimes you might want to collect very specific or custom information from your newsletter signups. Uh, and in this case, you could just click down here and add a field if it is not yet present. So you click add a field, then you choose the field type and then you can set a name and a tag for it. I've already done that. I've created a new field name of dog and the tag of this field would be dog name. And to connect this field, you know the drill by now, you just create a new field inside Webflow, you copy this dog name tag and paste it as the field's name inside of the field settings. So that's how you can connect custom fields to your MailChimp account as well. But there's one more important thing and that is MailChimp's tags. Every email program, every email marketing or newsletter tool has something called tags. To open your tags inside of MailChimp, you just uh, click on the audience menu again and then on tags. For this account, I have prepared three sample tags. The first one is called diet and the second one is called fitness and the third one is called health. So let's say I want that every contact, every new sign up that uh, submits this form receives the tag fitness. And to set this up, I have to go back to the sign up forms. And then I have to open the embedded forms again. And this time I don't click on continue immediately. This time you have to click on tags. And here you can now, I'm going to remove the ones that I set previously. Here you now have a list of all of your tags as a drop down menu. And you can add them to this form. So let's say I add fitness, I just click on fitness. You can also add multiple tags at the same time but I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to use the fitness tag. You can ignore this part again. This is not important at all for our integration. Click continue again until you reach this page where the code snippet is shown. Again, this time we only need a very specific and small part of this entire code snippet and, it, and I think it is somewhere in the middle. Uh, yes, here it is. Uh, it's the line where it says diff hidden equals true, input type equals hidden, name equals tags, value equals, and then a number or multiple numbers, and then diff. You have to copy this entire line, including this closing diff tag. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you select it, you copy it, you go back to Webflow, 
and then you select the form and add an embed HTML embed in onto the page. So click on add elements and the embed element is right here. And inside of the custom code of the embed element, you paste this small uh, line of code and click save and close. Now the tags have been added to this Webflow form. And to make sure that it works, you actually have to add this um, element, this embed element inside of the form. So it must be inside of this form. Important, not inside of the form block. If it's out here inside of the form block, it won't work. It has to be inside of the form. And now whenever someone uses this form to sign up for the newsletter, the, this new contact will be uh, will receive this fitness tag that we have selected. To prove that to you, I'm going to publish this page again. Go back to the live page again and refresh. And let's uh, do another test. My first name is Mike. My last name is test2 in this case. My phone number is 0123456789, obviously. And my email address is this really cool email address this time. Yes, I accept the terms and click on submit. And now it says, thank you, your submission has been received again. Go back to MailChimp. Uh, we can close that, we don't need this anymore. And let's see, let's click on all contacts again and see if it worked. And as you can see, there is now a second entry inside of our audience with the email address that I just used. First name Mike, last name Test2, phone number 12345678. And on the right side, you can see that this fitness tag has been assigned to the contact as well. So everything worked exactly like we wanted. If you ever decide that you want to change the tags that are assigned to a newsletter signup uh, when they use a specific form, what you have to do is you have to uh, regenerate this signup form. So you have to go back to the signups form page. You have to go back and go through the entire process, select the new tags that you want to assign and then you, then you get to this uh, code snippet page again, you copy the new line with the tags like we just did, and then you go back to your, um, to your form inside of here and paste, uh, paste the new tag code line inside here and click save and close, and then you're done. Then you have updated your tags. Okay, now if you want to learn more about Webflow Forms, I can recommend you to check out this Webflow Forms uh, playlist that I have created. And if you need a professional to help you out with your Webflow development and your Webflow projects, then go to my website, mikepecha.com and contact me. Have a nice day. Bye.